what happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. A Rudy, 2D, fresh and fruity, shake your booty. <laughs> It looked like you were going to completely collapse. It was so close to yeah. collapse. But I feel like the shake your booty got it got it back. Yeah, I wish I could have wish I could have delivered on time. You yeah, know? it was this was not perfection. No, this was the email but, you get from Amazon. Your delivery is running late. Yeah, but still arrive. But it does arrive. I do love being reminded of the Rudy Tootie, fresh and fruity commercials oh yeah that was uh the international house of pancakes yes was yeah, that was, the was them funny not disguises Denny's? yeah you because you you have to put the groucho Marx glasses on but the rudy tootie was oh wait, th- that was denny's what i know i think you're right. right. was i oh, okay. i think you're okay. correct but i loved i mean i loved i hop growing up oh it was disneyland of restaurants to me it felt like i was going to like an expensive because you got you got i mean breakfast food first of yeah. all Probably cheap for them to provide, but really delicious to eat. And they had a long run oh. that it is a it is a sandwich that I still dream about. It was because look, boys, you a sandwich. Yes, you that's, know that's that's the International House of Pancakes. I get it, but listen, you know my love for a club sandwich. I do. You are love first in line to get into the club. You go clubbing. They had for a while a hamburger club sandwich. And I mean, look, it's really not that much different than a burger, but it was. But it was called a club. But it was well because it had the extra piece of bread and all the normal so stuff, like, like a Big Mac. Uh, yeah, but on toast. And this blew your mind. It no, it wasn't and that it blew my it mind. Was it was good. It was so good. Mm. It was it was incredible. I I just can't imagine going there and getting a sandwich. No, be honest you gotta with get you. the breakfast sampler. Get a little bit of everything. Mm. I because you mean, never the had Mickey the Mouse magic. the Mickey Mouse pancakes. I mean. Uh, did they have? Were they allowed to do that? Back then, yeah. Back <laughs> then, no they rules. could feed you straight chocolate for breakfast. Well, I'm saying, like, were they? Was Disney getting a cutback? That I don't know. I, I think they, they can you know, make shapes. It's yeah. Mickey Moose. <laughs> Mickey <laughs> Moose. <laughs> okay. But he looks like a mouse. Welcome into the Spitballers, episode two sixty five. Would you rather? Jason explains. Is this real life? And we are drafting today, as we always do. <laughs> Today we are drafting. It's a different one. Oh, it's gonna be a struggle. Uh, we are drafting the best decades, and we're starting in the 1900s. Correct. Yeah, because uh, that, you know, I don't even feel like people treated decades like their own time period till about the 1900s. Well, I know they all. I mean, I know they were, but it wasn't like yeah. you know they all have a feel. All the decades have a feel. I'm sure they did back then as well, but they are very far removed. You know, like the 1770s. I'm sure people were like, oh, it's this, you know, they had disco. <laughs> no way, whatever. man. Let's party like no it's way. 1799. Up until 1900, it was just, people didn't even know what time it was. It was just like, am I alive today? Yes, I made well, it. Well, I woke up. I made it through another day. What month? What year is it? And then, then do, we started keeping track. Do we have penicillin <laughs> yet? <laughs> so we, but what's funny the about that is. has gone bad. If we draft decades from the 1900s on. That's 12 decades, and we'll have 12 picks. So you're getting stuck. Oh, Andy gets stuck with the... Oh, do I get the worst? Yeah, you get the runt. I feel like I know what he's going to end up with. I Shoot. I think so, too. I'm but... going to start making the case for that decade right now in my head. <laughs> Please do. But um, I also get the first pick. That's true. So, I, uh... I jumped on uh, chat GPT, and I was like, what good stuff happened in in this decade that I'm thinking of, and my computer exploded. Yeah, because nothing. Yeah, it, it was, was just like, bad. No, it does not work. Well, we'll get there. Nothing. We'll get there. It'll be uh, it'll be fun. All right, let's jump into Would You Rather. Would you rather? All right, Joe from the website. Would you rather be stuck on an elevator for 48 hours by yourself? Hmm. Or for ten hours with an elevator full of strangers. Oh. I've got a I got a quick question. Oh. How full? Let's go It matters. Let's go uh five people Okay. in what sh- what feels like a seven person elevator. Okay. So 
When you said how full, yeah, I assumed you meant like how recently did you eat? <laughs> like, like how full are you on this elevator? So was that the first thing you thought of with forty eight hours by yourself? Is you're you're well, yeah, you're because, on a bit of a well, there's a, a fast, there's a problem. You know, forty eight hours. You're gonna be forty eight hours on an empty stomach. <laughs> so like how? Because uh, my mind, of course, oh, went to food. Man. So I was like thinking, yeah, that's a good point. Forty eight hours by yourself on an elevator, you're gonna be starving and you thirsty. Will be, and yeah, just after Thanksgiving dinner. There's no way I'm picking forty eight. That's so I mean, being long. by myself would be the preferred situation, but ten hours I can I could do that. Forty eight, you brought it up. I mean, I hadn't thought of it right away, but like I, you I, will be so thirsty. I feel like that's slightly defeating like let's just i can say, hold my pee for the 10 hours let's let's amend Maybe. this question and say that there's some bottle waters and a loaf of bread okay this isn't like you're not getting gourmet meals and snacks and <laughs> chips and on, salsa on your elevator, on your this, elevator. like you right. normally would is this the the, the single for the forty-eight hours, or are you saying with all the people? Yeah, no, I'm no, just when, when you're by yourself. Okay, for the forty-eight hours, because right. you you need that. I don't think this is about like, do you want to start? By the way, if you have a bottle of water, the move is to drink the whole bottle and then use the bottle for pee, right? For sure. Okay. Uh, do you? I think you want to you want to sip, sip. Well, I, you gotta, I think the point is, I'm you just need saying the you bottle. need you need the bottle. Well, I'm not really worried about that right now. You're not worried about it over a 48 hour. You're going to be worried about it. I'll, You're going to have to pee. I'll You're going to have to pee, Mike. Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll pick a corner. Oh, that'll smell. Anyways, you don't think it'll this, smell in the bottle? I thought this was a Not real, if you cap it. No, you can cap the bottle. That's true. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> Did any of you guys ever- All right, detour. <laughs> detour. Did any of you guys ever um, go on a road trip in which- your parents refused to pull over, and then you had to pee inside of maybe- In uh, the moving car? In the moving vehicle to save time. I asked him for a friend. I'm, I'm sure it happens a lot. I don't. I've not done it. No uh, peeing in a moving vehicle. Um, our youngest has pulled that maneuver off. Oh yeah, more than a dozen times. No, wow, like impressive. Like a, uh, no, I guess I. It's not usually moving. It's like parking lot. You know, like why are you going in a bottle in the parking lot? Just jump out and find a bush. As we usually got like a cop or something. A cop? Know, cup? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what would I like, I have to do? I thought, well, no, because you're like, no, there's normally a cop like, around, so I don't. A cop. I feel like if if an officer saw a small child peeing yeah. into a bush, they're going to be like, yeah, I get I, it. I will always remember we were on the way home from a big road trip. I really had to go. My dad did not want to try to find, uh, either it wasn't a close rest stop. Yeah. He just wanted to push through, but it got it got pretty dire. And there was like an old, uh, like a 44 ouncer from like a Circle K, like oh, so, okay, styrofoam so. cup. Okay. okay. Well, and, that's sturdy. And mm -hmm. I used the styrofoam cup. It's nice big opening. As a small kid, and then we put the cap back on it. Mm, uh oh. And then oh, no. what happened was, is the second we got home, we were gonna take that out. Yeah. And throw it away. For sure. But what happened is, is the neighbor saw us coming home, so I just remember my dad had a long conversation with the neighbor while he was holding <laughs> uh, a forty-four ounce cup of my urine. Oh, that's sweet. And yeah. uh, I was I was like afraid he was going to tell him. You want to know what's in this cup? <laughs> <laughs> My son's pee. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I don't care about the bread and the water. I'm taking the ten hours with the friends. I'm gonna make. I like talking. Oh goodness! I'm happy uh, to talk to these folks. Okay. Uh, if I if I'm not starving or dying of thirst, then I'm definitely taking the forty eight hours. I feel like no phone, Jay. I oh that's fine. I think I would sign up for that right now. You would do I it. I would like if I'm allowed to get stuck in an elevator right now with water and bread for forty. You know, hours. Jason is opting into the Airbnb, like that is a. It's a you realize that locked this is elevator. Like a level of punishment that many consider to be torture. Mm -hmm. The claustrophobia would get real in forty-eight hours. The isolation for me. Okay, so I got a. I got a. You will amendment. be sleeping, which also, again, you're probably like, yeah. An amendment, the ten hours. So the the people. Who are in the elevator? They are all really full. <laughs> <laughs> like they're uncomfortably full. Yeah, they're, they're going to be using the, the restrooms. No, I'm just saying at the moment of shutdown, they're all like, "Oh, oh, oh why did I eat the dessert?" Yeah. Forty-eight alone. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> if there's chance of vomit existing in that, I mean, I don't know Any, what kind of like yeah. uh, scientific, uh, you know, momentum inertia thing happens when. 
if there's four people in an elevator and one begins to throw up, like I am the sympathetic puker. Like I can't take the smell. I can't look at you it. Have, yeah. So then a, I start throwing up. You have a high chance of. But what if they're a, a sympathetic puker? Of a bio problem. Like, like it will, real bad. Can it go on forever? I think Could you fill the elevator? Eventually you'll <laughs> empty yourselves out. But. That's so gross. <laughs> Another great so reason gross. to be by yourself. So yeah. gross. Okay. You'll, you'll drown. Um. Jesse from the website, while returning, oh, I'm sorry, while retaining your current intellect, would you rather be the most intelligent or the least intelligent person in the world? You got to, what? You, I, I, you, that's a confusing one to, to well, work saying like, I mean, it, for you guys, not for me. Of course. It's saying the where you are right now, do you want everyone to be dumber or are you willing to be the dumbest person on earth but you're the baseline of intelligence and that's mm. that's easily the point you got you take, don't know you take it for the team take it for humanity oh, is that, that's what you would do yes. for sure yeah i'm gonna enjoy all the cool stuff that everyone has made uh, that's and they'll be like oh here comes dumb mike i'm like yeah give me some more video games please every I, dumb person doesn't know how dumb they are because you are what true. you are so you can't comprehend but i'm smart enough to know that i'm dumb right because i'm not dumb Right. Definitely I see, I, definitely not dumb. You're the dumbest. Because you know that. Or am I, guys, am I dumb? Guys, uh, tell me. I need, I, need my friend, I need my friends to tell me if Anyways. I'm dumb. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, you've got a great memory. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, but the, 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 the truth is, if you are the dumbest person in the world at your current intellect, that- Utopian society. Exactly right. I mean, you're talking about technological this, advances- I'm calling BS. All over. I'm calling BS. I feel like we've had a, a form of this question before. Have we? And and Mike, you might have taken the, the kind of altruistic answer that this yeah. is. There is no way that Jason did. <laughs> the last time that this answer came up, maybe he's Jason is a person. Jason decided, I believe, <laughs> if I recall, that he wanted you would be the lord of all the dummies. You'd be the smartest. You'd that be does revered. Sound like you. you <laughs> okay, that sounds. You'd be like lifted me. up on their shoulder, their dumb shoulders. But I don't. Oh man, that would that would be pretty great. The problem they would is, come to you for wisdom. You'd be their shaman or something. I can't make technology. I right. can't. I can't manufacture microchips. I can't do those things. And and if but you I, want them to exist. And I want them to exist. So if everyone's dumber than me, then I don't get my cool stuff. Yeah, but I believe the last time you chose to be praised as a god. I believe <laughs> that we haven't had this question before. Okay, okay. And you're just putting this on me. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's good to good to see. You want the world to, to grow. I'll, yeah. I'll, go, I'll go that route. Utopian society. Yeah. Do you think Do that dumb people know that the smart person is smart? Do dumb people Cause know? Because they don't know they're smart. dumb. Because you won't get reverence from people that don't know that you're smarter than them. Because dumb people don't realize when people are smarter than them. That's what makes them dumb in some ways. Yeah. No, that's that's pretty valid. I think that if you chose to be the smartest person in the world, all the other people think they're the smartest. Yeah, you couldn't prove to them you were smarter because they wouldn't listen. Right, because they're so dumb. Okay. I think we got this one. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, then people are trying to water their crops with Gatorade. I mean, we, we have this movie. Yeah. All right. Uh, Luke from Patreon. Would you rather have the skill to create viral content effortlessly? Okay, so social media. Yeah. Or the skill to silence any internet troll with a single witty <laughs> mic drop comeback. <laughs> now, here's the interesting part about this, right? Because th th this last part about silencing the internet troll with a witty mic drop comeback, it it's actually impossible in reality because that's the nature of the trolls. Mm -hmm. They can't be silenced. You feed them, they get stronger. Exactly. But this says you silence internet trolls with a witty comeback. So you're you're doing something in public on on social media where like a troll comes and you mic drop them and everyone sees that that troll went away. Everyone goes oh, oh! Yeah. and then they stop talking. Yeah. yeah, and it feels good. And then no one cares. <laughs> like here's the thing about the internet and trolls that people do not realize is even if you. There's like, oh, it's definitive. You won the argument. The other person backed down. No one cares. No one cares. You've you've done nothing. You've accomplished nothing. Yeah, I don't even know that I would care. There is like if I was the one that did it. I yeah, I mean, this is gonna come into our our, our draft later. 
this whole world, the whole internet world will be debated right. in where we draft the decades that include the internet. I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was trying to like hype up the being able to silence a troll because I felt like that was n not the better side of this. Would you rather? I don't. But I don't they're both really, bad sides. I don't really care about what? trolls. Go Do you virals. guys care about trolls a lot? No, I I silence them. It's called a mute button. Yeah, I just I, I'm I'm pretty good at ignoring trolls. I don't really care. Uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Andy, <laughs> yeah, and the, Andy the trolls can get him. Doesn't like the trolls. sometimes. I mean, we've been doing this for ten years. Yeah, it's it's and we've had bazillions of trolls and. I will say that there's a handful of times that certain things will, you know, we've got, all got the like uh, sensitive spots in the armor. And so there's certain areas where you're like, I shouldn't care, but I do because yes. that's human nature. I, I What I was going to say, though, is they both kind of are sucky situations, in my opinion. How's the first one sucky? Yeah. Because if you create viral content, you're you get a bunch of trolls to the equation like you. you the only per what is the purpose of the viral content? To gain eyeballs on your on content. What? Yeah, I mean, that. that so that could be argued as who cares as well. Because well, there's a lot of, like, non uh, yeah, You know you, what I mean? You're on a slippery slope of who cares about anything, my man. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> matters. That's Mike's world, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you, you said it. Like, who cares about the debate you win? But the what I think the point is is that the world of Internet comments and attention is stupid. So... We run a yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, aside from like, if it's not a business and it's just yeah, you don't take your. The, it's not the money. So you, like the fifteen minutes. It's the attention. Yeah, it. And that's it's not good for me. It's that's pointless. That's I, my yeah. point. Oh, that's yeah, all I'm, I'm saying. Oh, not I'm the that. money. Like, if you want to translate this into the ever present, would you rather? Yes. End goal of eyeballs equals marketing equals cash money in my pockets. Yeah, we take yes. that one. Yeah, yeah. Which that's is already where, where Jason. Where Jason's, Jason's literally over here putting money in his sack. Oh, but. South Park had a very funny episode all about this where the boys do something and go viral and then they're trying to go find their their internet money. Oh, that <laughs> doesn't like, exist. They're like, "Wait, where's my where's my internet money?" And then it's all the other people who have gone viral. And it was like, "No, there's there's nothing there for you. There's no money. <laughs> there's yeah. no internet money." So I mean, I guess I guess that's the one that maybe you like that attention more you than could, the, you could do positive things with viral content. Yeah. I feel like you can do positive things shutting the trolls down. No. Trolls trolls It just breeds more. No, they hurt other people. There are people yes. that get hurt by trolls. So if you drop the mic drop comment and you shut the troll down, okay. you're you're like a internet Batman. But you you're would have troll buster. To, you would have to be troll busting twenty four seven. But no, you stop. Dude, if you could go out this is like being a hero on the street if one kick and one punch knocks out every bad guy you're doing it all the time it's fun yeah but i feel like you know if you're Saved if you're another a superhero one. you're waiting for super villains uh, and there's not that many of them do you know there's infinity trolls i don't think more viral content helps the world i'm taking the the mic drop comeback interesting i think the world needs more great viral content <laughs> i will take the viral more content. all right yeah, at least Mike, it, final answer. I'm taking the viral content. At least makes me laugh. All right. Uh, Robbie from Patreon, would you rather have to consume all video content from now on at half speed or two times speed? So we had this question a long mm. time ago with audio, but video content at half speed or two times speed. The truth is, is two times is too fast for me on audio. Yeah, the people that- Unless that, it's that, some topic that's just like, Super quickly consumable. The people that do the pods. One on. and a half I can do. Oh, I can't even and do I, that. And that's hard. Yeah, 1.3, 1.2, that's better. But for video, I know that it will be super painful to go half speed. Oh. Almost unbearable. But uh, then two times speed, I'm going to miss a lot. A lot, lot. Now imagine yeah. if you're watching Dunkirk, okay? <laughs> Now, that's when I would like two if times you speed. Want, if you watch that half speed, according to Andy, that would be 12 hours long right. at half speed. That I could deal with. Yeah, the, I, like the Godfather is... You will still, never... It never ends. Yeah, the idea that you could be in a bad movie and you're like, this will be over soon. Right. That's helpful. I, there, I, I think that there is there is no single advantage to half speed. Like, there's no, there's no, nothing positive, what about, what nothing about redeemable. about the, like, Matrix, uh, like, the dodging the bullets becomes real oh, slow motion? I mean, super duper bullet You get time. to see all of the special effects 
for a while. Okay, so I think I, uh, I think the graphics are going to look real bad if you cut them into half speed. I guess I guess football games half speed would be pretty cool. Ugh. No, they'd be five hours long. Well, they'd be Will too long. Will he catch it? But there would at uh, least be an advantage of like I get to watch the routes develop a little bit better and pay I attention appreciate to more the on the offensive here. line. I'm yeah, trying, I appreciate it. But that's my <laughs> point. Is like there, I don't see any redeemable quality. The re, there are plenty of redeemable qualities on the two times speed. Does like that mean said. all the voices become all yeah. uh, chip monkey chipmunks? For yeah. sure, they do. Al? Yeah. Yeah. Or, well, or I mean, goblin. I don't think they go that high pitched on two X speed. But but like Morgan Freeman, you're not going to get that anymore. No, just sounds like a regular person. Yeah, I don't want to be in that world. I just I don't think I could watch. I don't think either is doable. I wouldn't watch movies anymore. I would I, not watch. I would not opt into them. I think genuinely, what if those are the only two convince choices. people to move <laughs> at half speed while they're recording their movies. Now that now, now we're we're it's a little a little oh, wonky. Oh, like well, their movements worry. are going to be real jittery. So you get uh, you but it's regular. You build out one studio that does this and those are the movies you watch. Yeah, I, I would That's find funny. It, one movie a I year. would actually That's find funny. it <laughs> so fascinating as like a science experiment to actually see what that would look like if you recorded a scene of anything and you record yeah, but while you're recording it you're saying our goal here is to do it exactly half speed, and we're gonna play this at twice the speed. They, I want to do see that the, for music videos. The final product. Yeah, music videos are the way. Whenever they've done see, the backwards ones too. Whenever you see people moving like real jittery, but their lips are matched up, it's because they really yeah they they augment the time of um and then they have to lip sync to it. So you would have to you have to lip sync at half speed. You would have to record all the dialogue. And then they would slow at half speed and lip sync. No, no, no. That's my. That's the thing. Is like I. I want. I want every. It, it all live. It all yeah. live. You don't get to that. Would be very difficult. <laughs> yeah, I want to see how bad that final product would be. I'm going with the two times. Yes, yeah, you got to be two times. Hey, guess what? We have a Jason explains. Ooh. Jason explains in sixty seconds. Well, what are I'm you gonna, explaining today? I'm going to teach you all about any topic because I know. About every topic. Let's find out. Smartest man on hey, this is what you'd be able to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is this is really the the, 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 pinnacle, the question. Yeah, the pinnacle of human existence. Let's find out what uh, All right, explaining. Jason, you have sixty seconds to es explain astrology. Oh, astrology is an easy explanation. Astrology is the Oh Astrology is the mapping of the stars <laughs> where people look at how planets are aligning and they make decisions based on uh, their their signs in the in the stars. It's going to blow! And what, what ends up happening is all the people that are inferior intellectually, that are below me as the barometer of human intelligence, they look at these things and they think it's going to affect their life. They look at trends from other people's lives and they convince themselves of jewels and, and crystals that... That, um, all, that everything is going to, the future is going to come out exactly how they see it. And so astrology basically points all of the dumbest people in the world to believe things that aren't going to happen based on star events that they can't comprehend. That is everything. <laughs> there it is. Uh, you didn't even make it to the counter. I didn't know there was a counter. What is this? <laughs> what? Oh, that's... Oh. Crystals. I loved how affected everyone in this room was by how intense that like that's that's bomb disarmal music. That music that had to be the first time we've ever had that, right? Yes. That not no, we've had it before. What? Because I don't remember what? that. It's been a long time. I then. do not remember. Yeah, we were all really caught off guard when the voice came in because nobody knew it was coming. Ah. Are you being? Are you telling the truth? I promise. Yeah, you you have waited long enough to where we have forgot. It's been. Is years. it possible it was on mute when you played it last time? <laughs> no, we all talked about it. It's been very, years. Okay. Very intense. Let's just go back. I feel like you're wow. talking regularly, and then the music starts, and you just yeah. you got <laughs> you real start anxious. getting real fast. Everyone <laughs> in their everyone in their car started like gripping the steering yeah. wheel tighter. It basically felt like a five second countdown for sixty <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And I learned so much. Time to move What'd on. What'd you talk about? Today's show is brought to you by our friends at Liquid IV. 
No matter where or how you're hydrating this season, Liquid IV is the hydration brand fueling your well-being, and their hydration multiplier can keep you going through the end of the year and beyond with three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drinks plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone, all in a single stick. Now it's available in sugar-free from three delicious flavors, white peach, green grape, and lemon lime. I love my Liquid IV. I'm a huge fan of the grape and the lemon lime flavors. And I legitimately, after I pour the stick in, mix it up, drink my delicious Liquid IV, I can feel a difference very, very quickly. It just it's a, it's a very interesting sensation throughout my body, but I really feel like I could I could feel the hydration moving around. One stick of Liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates better than water alone. That's all you need. 16 ounces of water, one stick of Liquid IV. It's delicious. You're going to be hydrated. Grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code BALLERS at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code BALLERS at liquidiv.com. Is this real life? Well, we have the opportunity on this uh, episode, on this segment, uh, to share three real-life stories that we have discovered uh, with one another because the world is full of uh, interesting stories. And I will begin with a story from CNN. Oh, oh okay. okay. You know, uh, we're going to go straight to, I mean, this this is pretty, pretty recent uh, as of this recording. Plain turns back to JFK after horse escapes on board. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. A Boeing 747 en route. Full-size horse? En route from New York, JFK to Belgium, was forced to turn around on November 9th after a horse got loose in the cargo hold. Wait a minute. You can transport... Transport? <laughs> transport? Transport horses? Poison? Well, that's... So there's, you in can just, airport? like, you can fly commercial. Oh, I didn't know this story had a sad turn. Oh. I might not even read that oh, part. No. Well, let's just say... There were 15 horses on were there were 15 oh, horses no. on board and 14 got to Belgium. <laughs> oh no. Cuz one had to be euthanized due to the injuries of escaping in the cargo hold. Oh, oh man. So I didn't I didn't realize that part but Did he basically jump? no he didn't jump. <laughs> he escaped oh. the cargo oh, hold. Oh my gosh, the idea of a horse coming a horse down. Jumping out of the a plane. horse landing on your property. <laughs> it's like the hippo episode all over again. <laughs> but, oh. But from 30,000 okay, feet. But hold on. There was not Isn't just it, one horse. There was 15 horses. The horse was among 15 being transported. This is a Boeing Ark? <laughs> yeah, was, was this a spruce goose? Um, it became spooked due to turbulence. Due it, to the, being on a plane. What are we putting horses on a plane well, for? Well, how do you think horses get places, man? Put them on a boat. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, lo totally. they, they lost their wings a long time ago. I, I am shocked that a horse has ever been on a plane. <laughs> Well, in the cargo hold, it got spooked and it jumped over the barrier and got trapped uh, out there. It just wild horse down there. How two legs in, two legs out? Big is this cargo hold? That's what I'm, I need a. But I need a visual. Planes are pretty big, man. Planes are bigger. They're than doing I all sorts I of stuff. I know how big a horse is. Well, I mean, like how big is a horse compared to a human? At least five times. <laughs> okay, so five times fifteen. They fit that many people on a plane. Not in the cargo yeah, hold. Yeah, they didn't buy tickets. They're not, they're not up there in first yeah, class. Okay, now, wait, what I'm, are you charged for a horsey? I mean, if I gotta pay yeah, fifty I gotta, bucks for have, my bag, I have a fifty pound limit. Yeah, I can, Oh, What's you don't have a weighs? horse weight? Like a thousand pounds. Performance and breeding horses, including race horses and show horses, are what is happening? Are routinely shuffled safely around the globe without incident. But this episode speaks to the inherent unpredictability of work with horses. Of putting a horse which on are a plane. Flight, uh, which are flight animals that can injure themselves when frightened or startled. And and so to, to answer Two the question, to, yeah. the average weight for a horse is between 900 and 1,200 pounds. Yeah. The average They cost. charge me for my 50 one pound bag no listen to this we're though. all supplementing the horse people the horse's tickets 
One way tickets cost between two and ten grand per horse. Oh, okay. well, to that's- Belgium. <laughs> I mean, that's a long flight. That's fair. That's fair. So, um, and look, I when I when I pulled this one up, I actually didn't know about the the bad news Does- on horse fifteen. But um, do okay. Dumb question. Do horses? There are no dumb questions here. <laughs> do horses lay down to sleep? No, oh. the, the whole the whole thing about horses is that they sleep standing up. No, I no, that's Bargazzi. cow. I thought that was cows. No, that's horses. No, Bargazzi. Do horse- that's a horse thing. Yeah, that the horse was just sleeping, laying down. You're using one man's comedy routine to be your validation. Science. Yeah, people use this show all the time as validation. Do, no, but we're like this is a real show. Does a horse sleep while laying yes, down? Yes, they they sleep standing up. Do they ever lay down? Sure, to rest. Yeah, if they need like a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> to re- so sleeping is not the rest they doze while standing they're able to do this they're able to doze horses have an amazing ability to be able to sleep standing up but they do also sleep lying down yeah so is, is the horse have enough room to lay down in this plane or they have to stand the whole time i think they gotta stand that's, it's just a quick flight to belgium that is, <laughs> that's, that's so rude what so we- anyway that that yeah. happened uh wow. now there were i mean is this just a cargo plane do we know that I don't. I don't see that in here. Were there people that were rerouted okay. due to the horse, and could they hear the horse so, below them? Now that you bring that up, I do realize that there are only cargo airplanes. Because in my head, yeah, this was like this a, was under a bunch was, of people. This was a commercial flight, and people just have their horses in the in. That's the what I thought. That's what it is. Wait, Wait in that, that case, all the people took their horses to the airport <laughs> and then like put them on the plane. How, you, how else you you <laughs> had to cargo bring planes, man? There's planes. Yeah. But here's okay. the breaking news. All your packages that come from overseas, they're not getting boated over. They're in cargo planes. They're not just stuffed with the mm. luggage of, of regular people. Wait, it, wait okay. a minute. It wait. makes a lot more yeah. sense now. Okay. But you still got to bring horses to the airport. You do have to bring them yeah. to the airport. I mean, yeah, not, the, the plane has to fly from somewhere. You do have to bring them to the airport. Um, all right. All right. So share with me. Um, um, what do you? What kind of stories do story do you have jay uh i got a pretty gross one okay mine's more of a like nightmare situation oh, Which... let's hear the nightmare okay uh here's your headline ride passengers rescued after dangling upside down 75 feet up for half an hour Ooh. wait wait say that again this is like a roller coaster type ride this, yeah so passengers rescued dangling upside down 75 feet up for half an hour I might have seen some of the bits and pieces of this story coming through. So this one was at a Canadian amusement park. Shocker. Canadians with their (laughs) history of being unsafe. You're just taking a shot at them? I uh, I was. (laughs) Sorry, Canada. Uh, But in Canada's Wonderland theme park, so this thing, it's uh, the ride where they're, they're shaped like axes because it's Canada. So they must be shaped that way. But it's where basically you just sit there. And then it does the loop-de-loop okay. over and over and over. Well, it got to the top, and it stopped like that. And those people were, were just upside down, and it just keeps getting worse on different levels. Of This particular ride is situated so that people uh, are looking at each other. So you get to see the horror in, in your uh, co-rider's face. So you get to see people, you know, screaming. They're all upside down. There's, they said, there's video of the park staff can be heard asking through a megaphone, "Is everyone doing okay? Uh, okay up there?" To which they all shout, "No!" Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! But, what but, do you think they're gonna be like? Yeah, having a good time. <laughs> so they're up there for upside down for half an hour. Here's the real kicker, guys. Oh no! They they got it fixed. <sighs> But after they got it fixed, the ride had Don't. to complete its full <laughs> sequence. <laughs> no, it didn't. So they had to finish the ride. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Honestly, that's good. You don't want to have that taken away from you. <laughs> I paid good money for this ride. Don't rip me off. Oh, no. There are. Oh, that's awful. Man, there, there, are, some, there are some things that people do for adrenaline that i think are super fun but if something went wrong i'd be so embarrassed to have died or been maimed having chosen to do those things how long do you think 
like okay how you, long could you hang upside down yeah i mean there's got to be health yeah, without passing out risks um but I'm, I'm just thinking for the people that were in that situation they got stuck that's got to be scary it's like really really scary at first for the first few seconds like oh my gosh why are we stopped oh, i'm hanging i'm like like coming into my seat i hope the seat holds uh blah 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 and then a minute goes on and then 10 minutes I'm, goes on i'm guessing you're terrified the whole time that i just feel like the time would go so slowly it yes. would it would you would feel like you were up there for as a, the blood fills your head for three hours wow yeah that's uh that's that's pretty rough um jason what do you have for us all right woman rescued from outhouse toilet after climbing in to retrieve Apple Watch. Oh my goodness gracious! I'm gonna wait a minute. Skip wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rescued. Rescued. Yeah, that's the problem right there. Um, you let mm, I'm bad gonna, decision. I'm gonna let the spitwads out there yeah. know this great piece of advice from the state police in Michigan. Uh, quote: If you lose an item in an outhouse toilet. Do not attempt to venture inside the containment area. The containment yeah, area? Yeah, I thought that was really kind of them. The doo-doo area? Yeah, the doo-doo area. Doo-doo zone. I don't know what I would have to lose in there to, to well, go one, into the containment area. Your dignity. <laughs> right? That's, that's gone first. 10,000 cash falls out of your pocket. I do not loose bills, one stack. I do not believe I would go in after it. I really don't believe I would go because I can barely go in an outhouse, uh, like a real outhouse. If ten thousand, you could be like somebody go in and I'll give you a percentage of it back. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah, I'll give you a thousand dollars, and then they come back. And they're like, dude, there's ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, and you get one. <laughs> yeah. Um, also clean my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll give you, I'll give you uh, two hundred dollars. You can have the outside bills. <laughs> I'll take the inside oh. stack. But this woman uh, w was reaching in, and I don't even know how it's possible to fall in. I feel like, I feel like I couldn't fall <laughs> like in if you were like through well, a toilet. If you were like try to get in there, you're like I can't. I mean, not everyone's my size. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> but like I don't have any risk. Of <laughs> I am outhouse safe. I got my safety net with me. <laughs> Out house safe. <laughs> but but obviously uh, this woman was thinner than I am and really needed that Apple Watch. I mean, put it this way, another way to another way to say it. You said, okay, ten thousand dollars right. drops in. Okay, that's enough money you could pay someone. How much would it cost? Because I'm pretty sure an Apple Watch is about $129. What if depends on which one? I don't know what happened to this woman in the in the order of operations, but let's pretend for a minute she was leaving the outhouse. So she had opened the door and then she goes, Oh, I forgot my Apple Watch. And she reached in and then she fell in. At that point, did somebody else come in to use the outhouse? So she was trapped. Hello! No, and that's she, that's what happened. Oh no! How long was she down there? Um, I, how much is down there? I don't know what's going on down there, so, man. Yeah, how well, much there, space is there? There, there's enough space to not be able to get out. So it's a, it's a yeah. deep hole here. They oh, had to basically. Gross. So, yeah, this this isn't a, <sighs> this isn't a regular outhouse. This is where it's the the huge pit. This is a down and outhouse. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the the woman had to yell for help. Um and was eventually found and heard and then um they had to, out the, they had to remove the outhouse and crane her out. That's an embarrassing moment is when they crane the outhouse over the top of the pit and then it's just you in a pit of poop. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like they pull that thing away and there you're, there you you're, are. You're covered in poop. You're, there you are. I don't know if she got her watch. I'm guessing she got a bill. Yeah, she probably got a bill. Probably worth a lot more than With that watch. The Apple Watch, the and, rescue bill. And if you will, you guys take a watch instead. <laughs> Not that one. I mean, do the people? Do you laugh? Yeah, you laugh. I'm a saying, lot. like, if you, you the, yeah. not the person in there. No, no, I'm saying, like, you come, <laughs> you come across an outhouse. Someone's yeah. yelling help, and you realize what is happening. I guess you go help. I would them. freak out. No, at no, first. yeah, you help them, but do you do you giggle? If you I, know they're going to be safe, yeah, you start laughing hard. Yeah. You start calling your friends. You go you home. You won't believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Snap a picture. picture. Oh, and then you Smile. drop your phone in. <laughs> you, I want to get the toilet in the frame. Vi hey, viral. 
right? Yeah. yeah, that's how you go viral. I'm a live stream this. Wow. Okay. Well, that's disgusting. Let's uh, let's draft. The Spitballers draft. I don't know if this is the best draft to have the number one picking because this is this is really subjective. We are we are drafting the best decade starting from the 1900s, going all the way up till 2020. We're not including the one we're in, but that gives you 12 decades to choose from. I've got the first pick. There are some 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 good decades with kind of iconic things that have transpired, mm-hmm. progression for humanity. Whatever you define as making a decade good. There are some not so great decades. There are decades. some not so one good ones. Not so one. <laughs> um what I ended up deciding to go with uh I cuz I think that there's I like the decade to have a true feel to it. I think that's important. Like I want to pick like when I do. think when I think of a decade, I want to picture it instantaneously in my sure. head. And there was a lot of good stuff that happened. I think it's the most easy to picture or one of the most I'm taking with the number one pick, the 1980s. Okay. Mm. Um, yep. Um, yep. And not just cause I was born then in the 1980s, but that was, that was into the cold war. That was tear down this wall. So it's political, you know, the Mer- cold, cold war is over. Mer- Thank you, Mike. That's, that's not a very good Reagan. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, is that, that, what, is that, that Gor- Mr. Gorbachev. <laughs> that's not bad. You started as Nixon. <laughs> Mike, you started as Nixon, giggle. and then you went to, to <laughs> try it. Try to do Reagan. I don't even know Reagan's voice. Hey, it's, <laughs> it's me, Ronald. That is not that bad. Now shut up. Um, end of Cold War. The Chernobyl disaster. Stop it. Stop. Nineteen eighty-six. The okay. beginning of the personal computer revolution. You got uh, Apple and Macintosh and all that stuff. So you got com- the beginning of computers. You got crazy clothes. Got all the pop culture madness and all mm-hmm. the hair. I actually, ironically, just saw somebody share a video of like high school in the 80s and they were like panning the camera around a classroom and it was so funny mm-hmm. to see all the big hair. Um, all the music and the entertainment in the 80s was was pretty good. I mean, um, I, to me, that is an iconic decade that I felt was worthy of the number one pick. There, I figured the top two picks would be the 80s, and then I will take the 90s. Yes. Yeah, the 90s are the best. Uh, I am very versed in the 90s. Yes. I was around for it. Uh, I had a great time in the 90s. You know, I just look, just playing video games. Internet explosion started yeah. happening then, uh, but it was pre-social media. It was the heyday of cartoons. Yes. Yeah, the, yeah, the That's cartoons. So, uh, is you the gotta, 80s or the 90s that were more cartoons? 90s. I think, it's, I, I think it, the 80s were pretty good, too. They're both. Says we have the any guy that drafted the eighties. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, when uh, the I just want some cartoon the... credit too. That's all. Oh yeah, the eighties and the nineties. You can blur them together because we were kids growing. I just up remember in that living decade, in the nineties, thinking, the "Oh, mute? I wonder if this will ever feel like a decade." Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, you were yeah. in it, and you're like, "Oh, but the, you know, people talk about the seventies and the eighties. The nineties will never feel that well, you way." Just, you have to get old, and then you see the youth wearing the things that you wore, and you're like. What is happening? Yeah. yeah. What What are you wearing? Like, oh, well, the so 90s retro. was number two on my list, so yeah. that, that makes sense. The yeah. 90s. Yeah. Now were, the draft begins. Yeah, the 90s were number one on my list. Actually, the 80s were number three on my list. Oh. So I'm going to take my number two. Number two. Which is the 2000s. <laughs> that was third the, on my list. Yeah. The, now the draft now begins. Now the draft begins. <laughs> that was down at seven on my list. Yeah. Like, what? He yeah. doesn't like technology. He wants good old. Okay. Uh, no, I love technology. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going on. All right. Uh, yeah, the the 2000s. You know, I graduated in. in you love 2000. housing crises, so that makes sense. <laughs> I uh, oh, if you like housing crisis, get ready. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got a few. Yeah, the the 2000s were were. I mean, I this is a little bit, you know, self centered in the sense that I yeah. I loved the 2000s you know it was like it was a great time in my life it's not just it's like pretty self-centered yeah yeah i mean obviously i can't personally love the 1900s but what because is, i wasn't there here, here i'm gonna put you i'm gonna make you defend yourself a little bit okay because uh, they're lower on my list i don't know how low they were for mike what's the vibe of the 2000s the 2000 to 2010 that's the problem i had with it is i couldn't really I couldn't wrap my my head around like one iconic. I think it's feel. just because we're still so close to it. Yeah, 
Well, that's true. Um, that's fair. Which, for my next pick, we are closer to oh no, twenty tens, <laughs> baby. That was that's the worst. That's the yeah. lowest. That's the second lowest on my list. Oh baby, garbage. That should at, at least garbage. Be the third lowest what? on it's your just, list. I mean, two thousand tens. That's like that's smartphone revolution. That's yes. social media. Yeah, generation. Thank you for tell exactly my notes. My notes for the twenty twenty tens was social media, comma gross. No, I think it's awful. Yeah, worst I, period ever. I uh, I I want my tech. I want my computer. So I'm taking the two thousands and the two thousand tens. Gross, terrible mm. picks. All Wonderful. right, so I'm up. Uh, I have had a lifelong infatuation with just, and I get it. I didn't live back then, so I don't know all the the terrible things. But I just, I like the fun stuff that the movies show me, uh, and I really like the music and just the vibe. But I'm taking the fifties. Really? Yeah, man. Give me give me some uh, some poodle skirts. Give me the the give me the leather jackets and the greasers. The fi- I, I didn't I didn't know that about you, Mike. Uh, I learned something because that is diners. Uh, my notes for the fifties were you know cool cars. Unlocked doors, staying outside all day, cokes and diners. That's what I'm talking about. And I, I said we look good in the 50s. Yeah, and it's probably no surprise that both of us love Back to the Future, and I'm sure that has implanted a lot of my uh, romanticizing yes. what went on in the 50s. Which, to be clear, this draft is the romanticized version yes. of every decade. <laughs> yes. we, re- <laughs> we recognize that there are horrors yes. that have transpired during every year of our existence as humans, but the romanticized version of the past is the one that I think of. It. Yeah. You know, that is uh, the baby boomer generation was the 50s. It's like the Don Draper yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. time. Yeah. That's what the- comes to my mind. Yes, I feel like a yeah. Fifties just sound like sounds fun. Well, that they, they, so I'm I'm up now. You are. You get well, two picks. I uh, the fifties were number four on my list. My number three was actually the sixties. All right, That's... and uh, space race. Right, we had space exploration beginning then. Civil rights movement. You got the hippies. And the moon you had the landing. Peace, love, rock and roll. Beatlemania. Yeah, you Woodstock. Yeah, so I I went with the sixties. It was close. Son of Sam, am I right? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you. Uh, son of Sam, am I right? Everyone's gonna, from this point in the draft. There's gonna be about three or four ignore that moments from your decade. Yeah. So am, am I next? Yeah, uh, I yeah. So. Okay, I have so you two took picks. Sixties. All right. This one is. Um, I, look, there's a there's a wart or two towards the end of it. Sure, but we are running out. Oh, but but what I'm actually going, going with is the 1920s. Yeah, uh, I, I that think was, it's a that was gr- my next. It's pick. a great pick. The Roaring Twenties. Yeah, people wore uh, suits and dresses. Uh, we we were do- people forget because I know 1929 wasn't great, but the collapse of the stock market. <laughs> the only reason it could collapse <laughs> is because it was the Roaring. Like people had money and there was it, it was good um economically great we gave i mean we were even trying new things like prohibition we we're like hey let's give it a go let's see if it works let's yeah it did not work it did not but Maybe, we tried like, things like great gatsby's the 20s right? yeah f scott fitzgerald leo dicaprio get out of here with your author yeah yeah no that's uh that, yeah 20s parties look like they're hemingway a good time. hemingway uh was 20s. yeah 20s 20s were so well, you guys sure. both women's women's right to vote what's your uh favorite hemingway work uh d- d- <laughs> well i had too many to choose from if i'm honest I this ain't ce- a book show i celebrate his whole catalog <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's yours mike i didn't bring him up yeah <laughs> <laughs> the old man in the sea that's on right i have no idea yeah probably <laughs> could be oh you googled um, twenties and the sixties. My so I have the eighties, uh, the sixties, yeah. and the twenties, and I'm gonna get stuck with some junk oh, on yeah. the next pick. Oh yes, you are. Um, I I was hoping that one of those would come back to me. I feel like we are we are on the countdown to doom. <laughs> <laughs> we are. <laughs> so so what are you going with? I'm curious. Oh, I'm taking the seventies. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's not fair. The seventies yeah. are the last one left. So. 70s uh, have got some really good, you good got things. disco. You yeah, got, I, I mean, my biggest... End of Vietnam? 
Yeah, it was over. Yep, that part's good. The uh, house the, interior, shag carpet. I, I'm everything for me on on decades is music. So okay, like you, I mean, you, a lot of what is you know what we called classic rock, except I think our music is now called classic rock. Uh, but classic rock, look, I've got no problems with disco. It's Watergate. A good, it's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Also, Star Wars, Jaws. Oh, both of those are seventies. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, but but yeah, it, who All doesn't right. love a great scandal? Here we go, Jason. Which which picks? Uh, Jason gets two of them. He I already he already picked the worst, uh, the second worst one. <laughs> Can I pick the twenty twenties? <laughs> Can we go? Um. All right. I know my first one. My first one's great. It's the exact opposite <laughs> of uh what I. This is going to be really fun in a minute. It's nineteen hundreds. Okay, we're okay. going where there's still a little bit of wild west. There's still people riding around on horses. You know, we're going all the way back. It's the turn of the where, century. Where were they doing horses in yeah. the 1900s? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. The 19 uh, early 1900s boys, that was uh Teddy? Yes, That's Teddy. Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt, right? Yeah, Teddy it, and, and look. I did not realize this like did you know that Teddy got in because of an assassination? What do you mean? No, I didn't what know you, that. What you talking yeah. about? He wasn't voted in? Or the, the first time like when he got to take over, I I'm pretty sure. Let me oh, see the assassinator. I, <laughs> Oh well, come on! No, that was that was uh, that was LBJ in the sixties. Are you? I, someone confirm that? Yeah. I mean, I, we don't try to be too accurate here, but I gotta find it again. I didn't. I'd never heard that oh, at all. Man. Well, I don't even know. What I the, see that he won the electoral college. He, I think we got re maybe he assassinated the vote. Oh, the, <laughs> uh, who was it? McKinley. Following right? the assassination of his predecessor, William McKinley. Yeah. Well, I'll be darned. Yeah. Then he won re-election. Exactly. Because he was so cool on that horse. And was he in the 1900s? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, 19- you didn't even know you were drafting some Teddy. I you, didn't know you I had got, Teddy. Uh, I got the Wright, Wright Brothers. Wright Brothers. The Wright Brothers, the Model T. Uh, so theory like- of Relativity. <laughs> Great pick, Jason. Now, what is that again? E equals MC squared. No, I mean, like, tease it out a little bit. I'll, well, we'll have another Jason again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Turn that off. <laughs> oh, I can't handle that. Woo! Yeah, give me a heart attack. I don't want it. Okay. So. So now. Next. I get another decade. Mm-hmm. The nineties are gone. The two thousands are gone. Mm-hmm. The eighties mm-hmm. are gone. The tens are gone. The aughts. The seventies. The twenties. The sixties. The fifties are gone. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Gross. Well, I mean, there are three decades left. There are. Would the, you like to know them? Uh, they're the 1930s. Mm-hmm. They're the 1910s and the 1940s. Yeah, you got it. We got a lot of wars going on. In those, yeah, we do. Uh, in those decades. Um, What's your favorite war? Um, We'll save that for another draft. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, draft favorite oh, no. wars. Oh, goodness gracious. Mm-hmm. Next time on the final Spitballers episode. <laughs> Oh, I have to draft one of these. Tens, thirties, or forties. Oh man, you are struggling. Yeah. There's one wrong answer. That's all you have <laughs> to know. Um, goodness. Uh, I'm gonna go with the 1930s. That's the wrong answer. That's not the wrong answer. Oh yeah. Oh, the 30s. That's is the, the depression, pretty much. Yeah, the Great Depression. Oh, that is the That's Great Depression. But no, 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 no you, see, yeah, yeah. you are not taking back the depression. I was just thinking the the World don't worry. War One and World War Two. Don't they're worry, not, they're sandwiched. You also have the Dust Bowl. Yeah, dude, that was I. There's there's nothing good in the 30s. The creation of social social. I'll be security. honest. I had the 30s rated higher than I did the 40s. Oh, the dude. 40s. No, oh, the, the, yeah, the 40s are World War Two. Yeah, yeah, but World War Two of like then turned things around you were able to get the economy jump started again uh, so you're taking those yeah i'll take the 40s it's not okay the, and my my tagline is it's not the 30s <laughs> that's the tagline yeah, that's that's my so big that means sell. i end up with the final pick which is the 1910s sure. so world i get world war one and the mustard gas yeah but um I, my notes on on ni- the 1910s uh-huh. world war one dot 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 not great dot 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 <laughs> Uh, first transatlantic flight. I figured that out. That happened in the 1910s. We have the the women's and insulin. The women's suffrage movement was the tens. Uh, yeah. Wait. There when you did, go. Well, that I think the 20s. It actually they got the right to vote. Uh, but they well, started the movement in the tens. Yeah. No, 19th Amendment in 1919. 
And also, I'm seeing general relativity in 1915. Oh, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm taking it. Just kidding about that. All you don't I get know that. is the world wars went last and second to last, as they should have. You're welcome for me taking on the bad economic times of the 30s. Yeah. Yeah, would you? I, I think you would have rather lived during the wars if you weren't yeah. fighting in them. <laughs> if you yeah. weren't fighting in them, we oh. we were talking about it because I was. I'm like, okay, give me some information here on these old decades, dude. One in four people couldn't find work. One in four during the like. Imagine, like, imagine that. Every one four, in four. One in yeah, four I know. People, it's not one imaginable. In four can't find like that's that's unbelievably <sighs> horrific i also got stuck with good this. pick jay i got stuck with the <laughs> spanish you. flu though oh man and that was um only five when was that only 500 million people died oh my God. we gotta get away that from was that. 1918 1919 oh get away from that the tens were tough you were you were in world war dying or you're getting spanish flu and dying I feel like then my you, part, you partied hard for about do we have a pandemic draft coming my, my position in this draft was horrific because yeah you guys got the two cool ones mm -hmm. at, right up at the top and then you emptied it out with the 70s of all the, of the <laughs> next tier so i didn't even get any of the top tier and then i got two of the garbage on my own rankings which i know you disregard but on my own jason you you drafted the seventh mm. 11th mm. uh eighth yeah and uh did you get the you got the third and ninth. <laughs> yes. So seven, eight, nine, eleven. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. I uh, had I had twenty tens is still in the before everything went terrible, but yeah. it was just above the seventies before everything went night the twenty tens. Yeah. Oh, as in like picks before you were picking bad bad decades. Mm -hmm. Well, that that's wild. That's wild. I feel yeah. like we learned hey, a little bit. Kids, learn your history because this is wild stuff going on out there. It is it is crazy. So um I have the eighties, sixties, twenties, and tens, Mike the nineties, fifties, seventies, and forties. That's a good group. And Jason has some other decades. Yeah, the other, I'm the other lose one losing the draft. He has the <laughs> other ones, folks. You well here's the thing. I don't think our demo is really big with people who like lived through right, the that time. Yeah. So I think your your two uh, thousands will will do okay. That's right. they they were they're good times. Yeah, I, I would have guessed that there's some listeners that um, born in the uh, born in the aughts and some they, they basically like we were born in the 80s, but we remember the 90s. Yes. So if you're born in the aughts, you remember the 2010s. Yeah. I wish we could find out what like what's the oldest person that listens to the show. Let's uh, let us know. They don't know yeah. how to contact us. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we give them a mailing address? <laughs> oh send my your, gosh! Send your uh, postage mail. We we get uh I, we get we have a, a an older person in, uh, that coaches one of my son's teams. Okay. And he has to communicate with all the parents, which you would think, you know, you just send an email to the parents. But every email is a blank email with a word doc attached <laughs> no. and the word and the word no. doc and the word doc is written like a letter. No. <laughs> to whom it may concern. <laughs> I mean not quite like that, not with a sincerely best but you open the doc to read the email what? that comes in the email it's pretty funny it was pretty funny how old is this person 70s 70s like they were around for the invention of the sport uh you know what i <laughs> possibly <laughs> but um yeah yeah they wouldn't if you're if you're really old and you know technology let us know yeah apparently jason would like to i'm not to worried that you. i'm gonna get a hold of this I don't think anyone's getting a hold of me, to be honest. <laughs> what did we oh. learn today? Oh, man. The early 1900s. Some stuff went down. Uh, I learned that I am outhouse proof. <laughs> and that's the way I want to think of my weight. I was going to say, that's... Uh... This, this is protection. Yeah. <laughs> try, put, try stuffing me down an outhouse. You Not going to happen. You'll fail. Yeah. I guess I learned that uh, <laughs> relativity was in the, 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 the tens. Yeah. Didn't know that, so. Deucers, favorite decade. Go. 60s. 80s. 80s. All right. All right. I guess I made an okay uh, pick. 90s. Yeah, all right. Take care. Catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs>
Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.